what's up, everybody? This is Shula King, one of the funniest comedians to ever put two feet on the stage. And you listen to Squad Boy TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Squad Boy TV. Here with me, Jazzy. Also filling in with me is my brother, Mr. CP. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're here. That's right. Also, we have a very special guest that is on the phone. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know this gentleman, you will know this gentleman. Mr. Who we got, Mr. CP? Shuler King. King. That's right. Welcome, Mr. Shuler King, to Squad Boy TV. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, It's a beautiful okay. day. Yes, it's a beautiful it day. Is. It is. Mr. Shula King, for those who may not know you, why don't you go ahead and start off and tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay. My name is Shula King. I'm from something, South Carolina. Um, I've been doing comedy for almost 15 years now. Wow. Oh, wow. And, you know, I just, yeah, just recently uh, on a little Facebook fame, you know what I mean? You know, so yeah, we kind of rocking like that. We got moving full speed ahead. I, I was thinking you was from um, Texas. I seen you uh, promoting some shows over in Texas, so I was thinking you was from over that way. Nah, man, I'm not from Oh, so country, country boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm hmm. So tell us, how did you get into this whole thing with doing the, the comedy and, and stuff like that? All right, well, like, when I when I first really got into it, like, I was always funny. Like, I was always the kind of guy that was, like, everybody would say, oh, man, you need to be a comedian. And as truth be told, I was against it. I was like, man, I ain't trying to be no comedian, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, what ended up happening, um, I kind of, you know, I guess changed my mind. I was like, you know what, fine, I'll, you know, I'll give it a shot. And when I decided in my mind that I was going to do it, I, um, the, the opportunity came to me. You know, I was working in the music store. I was a freshman in college. I went to the University of South Carolina. I was a freshman in college, and this, uh, this promoter came in, and he was passing out flyers. And I started, you know, kind of uh, irritating. You know what I mean? He, he came into my job. I was working part-time in the music store, and I started irritating him or whatever. And he kind of looked at me and was like, are you a comedian? Mm -hmm. And the, the girl that I was working with said yes before I could say no. <laughs> and, uh, she wrote a, She's so Yeah, because yeah, she was one of the people who kept telling me, hey, look, you need to be a comedian. And you know what I mean? I was just going to tell him, nah, man, I ain't no comedian. But she was like, yes. And I, I told him, I was like, listen, man, I, I, I'm thinking about giving it a shot. He wrote his number down on the fly and said, I'll give you three minutes to figure out whether you are or you aren't. Three minutes. And I, you know, I waited. I waited one day and I, I called him like the next day and was like, hey, man, you know, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. And he's like, all right, I'll give you three minutes on the show. And, you know, I got up there. I was so nervous. Yeah. But I did my, uh, did my little three minutes and I actually did pretty good. It's just been on from there. So you had you had material and everything set and ready to go, or you just Man, you just kind of winged it. I, listen, listen, listen. I when I when I didn't I really didn't know anything that I was supposed to do. So what I did, um, I when I called him, and I you know I mean got off the phone, and I just started writing like I just started writing jokes. I didn't even know how to write jokes. I didn't know what to do mm -hmm. like. It was only three minutes, but I was writing everything down word for word. Right. Like, it was almost like a script. Like, I had it. It looked like a book, like a pamphlet or something. That You know what I'm saying? Because I had written down from the time I got on stage to the time I got off. I was like. Everything. I had had, like, instructions. Like, I was like, step on stage, grab <laughs> wow. back, like, the whole thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Because I was that nervous, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. right, right, right. And I can understand that because me being a part, uh, coming along on the Squad Boy TV and having to do like my first interview and stuff like that, it was it was really nervous. And then moving over to the radio station was also nervous too. And it was like, mm -hmm. oh, no, mm -hmm. I can't do this. I can't. So yeah, it's different than what yeah. you normally do. Exactly. Yeah, man. Was was the when when you went up there? Was the club? Uh, well, where wherever you were, was it packed? There was a lot of people in there, or um, like people you know. 
Um, it was, in fact, I was actually at the NCO club, Shaw Air Force, speaking to Harry Potter. And um, it wasn't packed, but it, it was a good amount of people there. My mother was there, my girlfriend at the time, my brother and sister were there. You know what I mean? Of course, you know, mama going to be mama. Before exactly. I really got to the to the punchline, she started laughing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a, I already had supporters. Exactly. Yeah. So do you That's do, right. That's right. Do you do this as a full time or is this like something part time that you do? You said do I do what? She said, um, are you a full time comic or a part time comic? No, nah, I'm a full time man. Full time now, but I got a cool part time job that I can't get out of. Ah. You got the benefits? Yeah. <laughs> well, well the, the thing about it is thing about it is I, well, I can't even say it's, I don't even know if it's part time it's just my other job um, mm-hmm. my other career you're not going to believe what it is I'm a funeral director oh man that, I, <laughs> how does that work out like you find yourself like cracking jokes he, at the wrong time hey, he, he got to practice his jokes on somebody <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah well I mean it's kind of like uh, I crack I, I crack jokes, but you know, my family owns a funeral home. Ah, ooh, yeah. So my family, my family owns a funeral home, and they've been in business for over seventy years. Oh wow! So, right. So I was, just, you know, I've been doing that. I've been around that longer than uh, longer in comedy. You know, so you know, but whenever I'm not on the road, that's what I'm doing. Like I'm actually leaving from there now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, so everybody, you know, my hometown, they know me as, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the the funeral, funeral the funeral they know me as a funeral director. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's I mean, where they that title comes from. know me for comedy now. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Where did the funeral director come from? I thought maybe it was just something funny, but now that you tell the story, it all makes sense now. Yeah, I'm a real funeral director. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do them like they do over in um um where is that New Orleans where they they do all like the it's dancing, a big show yeah. and everything, or is it more traditional? Oh, you mean? Yeah, we're more traditional down here, but you know we can do anything that is uh anything that's required. Mm-hmm. Like if whatever the family asks for, you know what I mean. Within the ramifications of the law, that's what we'll do. Oh, well, my other partner, Mr. Dogweed, has some questions for you, too. So we're going to slide him in as well. So we're going to kind of bounce it around so that way we can see what he got because he over here just dying to talk to you. <laughs> no point okay, intended. Okay, good. Uh, while, while he's getting ready, um, I have a question for you. Um, you been watching uh, the Barbecue Bay uh, memes? Uh, you said I've been watching the what? Barbecue Bay, with the memes that they've been putting up on her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I did a video on it. It was it's crazy. It's going on and on and on. I just see I see more and more of them every day. Yeah, man. I mean, it's getting harder and harder for you to be a casual racist. Now, <laughs> casual racist. Yeah, they they yeah, they, I mean, they gonna you know, blast you that, out. Yeah, I call that casual racism. You know what I mean? Blatant racism is you know them marching and you screaming the N word and. Mm-hmm. Burning the crosses and all that, but then you have casual racism where it's just you know, hey, I've been taught a bad stigma about somebody of color, mm-hmm. and I want to call the police because I feel the need to be protected. You know what I mean? And it's right. like, lady, ain't nothing going on. Mind oh, your the, business. That's the lady that called the police on. Yeah, the lady that called the police. Yeah, yeah, I seen he went off on that. Yeah. How, how do you come yeah, up? How do you I come mean, up with what you're gonna say uh, in your skits uh, on, on Facebook? Man, it just comes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It just comes. It just pops into my head, and you know, I just have to translate it. Like, you know, honestly, what it sets me aside from a lot of comedians is that I can talk about issues. You have a lot of people who, you know, just want to be funny. Like it doesn't matter, and they're not. You know, they they don't think. It's not, they're not, you know, trying to make people think. I want people to think. Like, I, I because of the way I was raised, you know, I can... Um, Touch on I real guess, issues. I, I was raised to care about issues. Mm-hmm. You know what I 
you know, that certain things matter, you know what I mean? So me being funny comes natural, but I, I the way I think and the kind of person that I am, I'm always going to be able to teach you and then make them funny, but then also speak truth and make people think, you know? That's right. Let's talk about fake preachers. What was up with that? I mean, you, that right. You, you, I'm sick of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's, a, mean, what, like, what, what's I, a fake preacher? I seen you, you was going in. Preacher. You was going in pretty good on that. Yeah, man. I mean, come on, man. Like, the dude, I can't even remember what he did. He said he went to heaven and took pictures of heaven. And then came back. <laughs> <laughs> and since he was like, you know what I mean? Taking, he was like, he was selling the pictures for $5,000. I'm like, bruh, come on. <laughs> did he have an iPhone or did he have a regular I mean, camera? But, I, I don't know. I think he must have, had a, must have had like one of them old school Polaroids where you take it and oh, yeah. shake it. I'm trying to tell you, he wouldn't have seen Jesus, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? That's why I was like, you know what I mean? There's a couple people I know that done died that owe me money. <laughs> like, you come back with my friends. <laughs> You know what I mean? You come back with my bread, and then, then I might believe you. I hear you. Wow. I hear you. You got a, you got another one I yeah. like that, man. You got take them damn shorts off. <laughs> yes. Yes, he was trying. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what possessed that woman to, to get them off. And I don't think she got them on by herself. But she needed to take you know them damn I mean? shorts like off, ain't a man. I mean, like, my thing is, she really dedicated herself to putting them shorts on. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's why I was saying, like, I applaud whoever made those shorts. Whoever stitched them shorts together, they, they, they were I talented. Think, man, look. Yeah. <laughs> Over and above. must have been stitched together by Zeus himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Wow. This man crazy, man. So tell me, how was the experience in um, in the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it that, was man. Cool, man. I mean, was you really honestly, in the kitchen? It blew my mind. And not say what? <laughs> was, <in> <laughs> was, you really, nah, was you really in the kitchen with the, with the, with the uh, season nah, salt? Man, nah, nah, <laughs> nah. I was, uh, I saw it on TV like everybody else, man. <laughs> um, but being over there, it was cool because. It kind of blew my mind that, like, I was walking through the airport, and co- a couple of people knew who I was. And, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Know, That's what's up. And they were, you know, yeah, you get recognized in a whole other country. It's kind of crazy, you know what I mean? And people like, you know, because it, it, it's diverse, just like America is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, There's all yeah, kind of yeah. people there. You know what I mean? You got Indian and African and just anybody who's, but you have guys who people who are, like, from Africa, but they're, like, you know how you have people from other countries, but they're, like, Americanized? Right, they right. Yeah. So long they're Americanized. Yeah. It's, the, it's the same thing over there. They were Londonized. You know what I mean? But, yeah, right. You know what I mean? Or UK and I, I don't know, whatever you call it. <laughs> something with, something <laughs> with eyes. Yeah, something with eyes in it. But, you know, they were just real, they were real receptive. Like, some people were snobby, but yes. some people, like, people who knew who I was, Man, I mean, they they showed me so much love, and they were buying drinks, and you know what I mean. And they were like, "Man, I can't believe you're here." Oh, so that was like, a, that, that had to be a great feeling, man. Yeah, you know, I was like, because I don't see myself the way other people see me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I yeah, understand. and that's good because that keeps you humble. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm big on humility. You know what I mean? And I I know what I know what real success is. Mm-hmm. So I really don't trip on it. Like you know, real success is. And and I don't I don't push my opinion I don't push my views on anybody but the truth is real success is if you got God and you got people who love you for real mm-hmm. then that's success and you know what I mean everything mm-hmm. else is just so icing on the cake right and, I hear you, you know bro. but because mm-hmm. I know that one day all of this stuff is gonna be over with you know what I mean all right. of the, the fanfare the adoration is gonna go away one day right. and the only thing that is gonna matter is the people that that love me right now, that truly love me and care about me right now, mm-hmm. and, you know, my relationship with God. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Once it's over with, you know, I'm I'm, I'm all right, you know, because I'm walking out with the same things that I walked in with. And that's my family, you know, God. You know, I mean, I would like to 
of course, be uh, more financially secure. <laughs> right, right, right. Y'all. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You like your pockets are way like, a little bit, would, would a little great. bit more in the man. Yeah, you know what I mean. That would be great, but you know, all in all, you know, I know that, um, I know, I know who I am as a person. So, do you, none of that, none of it goes to my head. Cool. Do you have any influences in 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 comedy? Like, who are some of your influences in comedy that made you want to do comedy? Um, Bernie Mac was as far as influence mm. yes, rest me, in like, peace. you know, out. because I know a lot of people say that they see it in me, and I don't try to force it, but what it is is, like, when I was doing open mic, Bernie Mac, I, 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 another comedian told me, they said, man, you're funny, but you don't use everything that you have. Like, what you're saying is funny, but you're not using your expression. He's like, man, I don't mean to offend you, but you have big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they. So you so need to say, use them. You have big eyes. Yeah, they said you need to use them. And I said, okay, but <clears throat> what he said was, he said, when you go home, he said, watch Bernie Mac. And, you know, watch how he uses his eyes and how he uses, he's physically funny as well as. That's right. You he, know, he got uh, different expressions and funny. stuff. Yeah. Right. And, you know, and I, and I watched, um, you know, Richard. And I'm, you know, Fox and, you know, even yeah, even great. guys like, you know, who, who really aren't heavy in, the, in stand-up anymore, like, um, uh, what's my man's name? Uh, Robin, who played, played Duck on Five Heartbeats. He was a comedian. Yes. Yeah. Arsenio yeah. was a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I look up, I look up all of these, all these guys. Old you know school. I mean? even, mm-hmm. even, yeah, even like, like, Sammy Davis Jr. He not, he was a, he was an artist. Mm-hmm. The entertainer and comedy was one of the things that he was good at. He was able to get up and tell jokes and Gene Martin and all those guys. Mm-hmm. Those guys, you know, I mean, I watched them and I watched how they, you know, you know, their confidence and how. So, if someone came to you, producer, or whatever, and act and wanted you to do a movie or something, what movie that is out or has been out would you like to take a part two or part three in or something like that? <laughs> oh, I thought I lost y'all. I thought I lost y'all, my man. <laughs> now we still here. <laughs> yeah, like uh, Tupac, Bruce Lee, just you know anybody that's a really that's really good at that you have to watch. You know, you can have to draw inspiration from other people who are who are great at what they do. Right. So just anybody who who's great at what they do and and who's, who's captivating. I watch them and I draw that that kind of inspiration. So Shakespeare, anything, you know. Shakespeare. Oh man, he oh, threw God. us off with that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Shakespeare. No, what what I'm saying, like you know, like how <laughs> you have you he talks about Shakespeare talks about things and like how how long his his work lived. You know what I'm saying? Right, mm-hmm. right, 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 right. Yeah, like people study uh, study his work from now till you know the end of time, mm-hmm. and it's like. That's the kind of thing that that's kind of how I want to do with comedy is like not just to be oh man this guy's funny but I want to be the person that say man you know this guy actually had messages in the comedy like right. you know I don't know if y'all saw the video I did with um about the, the Starbucks thing yes yes I saw that one yeah see I mean like it was funny yeah it was it, it was funny but there was a message in it you know what I'm yes. saying like. And some of the people actually caught the message when I was saying, you know, we can boycott all day long, but we're going to be stuck in position if we don't start pooling money together and create our own franchises and create our own business and support each other. It's not about being upset with anybody or being mad with anybody or taking revenge, but it's really just about it saying, hey, look, we create our own community. Because mm-hmm. if we right. got our own coffee shop, we got our own franchises, and we have our own rules, and we treat our own people right. Banks well, then we ain't got to worry about getting thrown out of anybody's stuff. That's exactly. right. Exactly. Exactly. That's what's up. You know. That's what's yeah. up. So, what's so, some you know, social? Um, I'm sorry, not to cut you off, but what's some social sites that that people can reach out and you know keep up with you and see what it is that you're doing? Shula King, comedy funeral director. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, my Facebook page is Comedian Shula King. Uh, anybody listening, they don't know how to spell Shula King. It's S as in Sam, H as in Hello, U L E R K I N G. All righty. Um, and, yeah, and my YouTube page is Comedian Shula King. IG is um, just Shula King, S H U L E R K I N G. All across the you board. Know, yeah, it's all Shula King. So if you go to Google and type in Shula King, it's all popping up. It's all popping up. That's how you do it. Yeah, man. You know, you know the whole the whole thing's gonna pop up. You know. That's for you, world. Just type in Shula King. That's right. That's right. That's all you gotta do is type in Shula King, and it'll all pop up. Shula King, I got a question for you, man. They ain't going to ask you this question. I got a deep question for you, man. You've been, you been waiting to ask me a question for a minute. <laughs> man, what you talking about? Man. You already know, man. Hey, listen. If you can be any superhero out there, mm. what superhero would you be? Me? No, I'm just <laughs> Wakanda forever. King man. <laughs> nah, um... Man, nobody's ever asked me that before. That's right. That's a original I mean, question. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much. Uh, what would be your superpowers if you could? If you could have superpowers, what would be your superpowers? It'd be the Undertaker. Oh, that would that would be able. I'd be able to fly. Uh, you got you got to fly. fly. Teleport. Ooh, yeah. You got to get there fast. I want to be able to fly, and I want to be able to teleport, so I'll never be late for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You know what they say about CP time. Yeah, man. You be late, you be late for your you shows. Know what I'm That's that black people time, ain't it, man? No, man. No, I no. I'm never. I'm never late for a show. Okay, that's good. I'm never late for a show. If I'm late for a show, something terrible. I was late for once. I will. I have to admit, that was mm-hmm. when um we flew to Japan. Oh man. And uh, you know, I'm yeah. jet lagging like it was nothing, man. Ooh, you, you know swear. How, <laughs> yeah, you know how like uh. You say like I like you talk to yourself, mm-hmm. and you say, "All right, I'm gonna lay down." Yeah. For an hour. Yeah. 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 I said, I'm, I'm gonna lay down for an hour. Five hours. Luckily later. for me, yeah. When we finally got, I finally got dressed. You know what I mean? I mean, I know. Luckily, I got my clothes ready. I took a shower. I did everything. So when I when I when I woke up to them banging on my door. Mm. Wow. You know what I mean? I woke up and the promoter's like, "Man, what are you doing?" I mean, we were on uh, Yakota Air Force Base, oh, so man. it's not like we had far to go. Mm-hmm. But they was just like, "You know, man, the show started, the room was packed, people da da da." And uh, you know, you was la- you so was I laid up under the covers. <laughs> yeah, but man, when I tell you, I was in a deep home. Yeah, that, <laughs> but, that'd be the best sleep when you're supposed to be somewhere. Oh no, man, well, I'm telling you. And then I woke up, threw my clothes on, we did the show, and uh, I rocked out. You know what I mean? As I did it, we did it like like I wasn't even tired. Mm. <laughs> right, right. What well, um, question? What yeah. was what was your worst experience in comedy? Have you have you ever bombed at a show? No tomatoes stole. Oh man, mm. yeah. The, I, I I did do bad. I was I was coming up. I was still doing open mic. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, before I see, I've been, you know, I started doing comedy when I was first started long before social media. Right. Before, really, before Facebook existed. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, well, I wouldn't go that far. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> before, before. You're like, no, you tell, you tell uh, Phil. Year, year fake news. Fake some, news. Tell us some age, though, boy. Before, before, before Facebook was prominent, I put it like that. Um, my space. My space. I, was, my space. I, I was traveling. Like, the way to do it was just hop in the car, go to this city, go to that city. And I was traveling for something. Like, you know, it was open mic. I was just trying to, I would drive two hours, three hours, four hours, wherever, just to, you know, just to be known, just to kind of mm-hmm. plant the seed somewhere. Right, so right. I drive to Atlanta. And this is a funny story. I drive to, all the way to Atlanta <laughs> and. I would go to Uptown. I don't know nothing about Uptown. I just know that their open mic is like on a Tuesday or Wednesday or wherever they were. Mm-hmm. And um, I didn't know that. You get crazy the enough? The culture of Atlanta. Mm. 
Mm. Get crazy up in there, man. The culture of Atlanta. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, you know what I mean? I didn't know that it was it was that rough. So, you know, um, I remember when I get there, I'm with my cousin, I I get there into the club and you know what I mean? I put my name on the list. We sit down at the table and you know, the 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 waitress walks up to me and she says, You want a drink? I said, Nah, I don't want no drink. I'm I'm getting ready to go on stage. I don't drink. You know what I mean? I don't drink no, you know, alcohol. Right. Now, mind you, what I used to do, I used to write down everything I wanted to do or everything I wanted to talk about on stage. But when I got on stage, a few times I got on stage and I forgot everything. Right. But <laughs> wow. I would go off the top of my head and I'd still be funny. Right. So I developed a small ego. Mm. So when I got to Atlanta, I was like, you know what? I ain't even going to worry about writing nothing down. What I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to know because when I get on stage, I'm going to be funny anyway. You're going to freestyle mm-hmm. off the crowd or something. Mm-hmm. Right. M- mistake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. Big mistake. So I got there, you know what I mean? And, you know, like I said, I told the witches, you know, I'm going to on stage. I don't want to drink. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know what I mean? And I'm kind of, you know. Got a small ego, not huge ego. Feeling but yourself. Okay, they call me. Mm. Yeah, feeling myself just a little bit. I get on stage, and I actually, before I got to the mic, somebody was heckling me before I even really got to the mic. Wow. And I had to shut them down. Oh, so when okay. I said what I said to them, they actually laughed. They were like, oh, okay, the young gun is, you know what I mean? He's got really? a little something with him. Mm-hmm. Snap. And I tried to, you know, go off the cuff. They didn't boo me, but they had this thing where they would pick, pull the keys out of their pockets and jingle them. Oh, <laughs> and the club, yeah, the whole club pull the keys out and jingle the keys. Oh man! Which is, which I don't know, like which feels. I was like, dang! But the only thing about it was, it was weird to you. That didn't feel bad. Like it didn't feel bad. Like I, it, it was, it hurt my ego a little bit. Yeah. But sometimes getting booed is the best thing that can happen to you. Because Absolutely. it makes you, yeah. Because it, it now I don't have a fear of getting booed. Okay. Oh, so you got over that you know phobia. I mean? now okay. Like, yeah, it's right. It's like because being scared of you know the anticipation of being booed, it takes away from your uh, takes away from your performance. It takes away from your confidence. Right. You know what I mean? Like mm. it's kind of like going to war. If you're if you're afraid of being cut. You know, then now you you you, you kind of real careful. Right. But right. if you've already been cut five or ten times, it's like, all right, look, I done <laughs> I, been. I, cut. I've been there before. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Been there. I'm gonna get cut. I'm gonna heal up. But we going hard. Yeah. That's right. right. You know. But, they don't they don't blew up a so lead before. I, I, I can get it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's like you know. So they they did the keys thing. You know. Now I got to go back and sit in the midst of the crowd that just booed me. <laughs> oh God, man! No. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, that's I had to go go back, but it's like, yeah, I feel like everybody's watching me go back to my table. Walk of shame. And then, yeah, the same waitress walks back to the table and say, "You want, you that, want drink? that drink?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gave her the mic. Got you a double on that yeah, night, ain't it, man? <laughs> yeah, and my cousin, my cousin looks up like, "Yeah, yeah, you want that drink?" <laughs> <laughs> So do and you I, have, and I drank them too. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> yeah. So do you have a team that you know is with you that try with you that help you out? Writers and writers and thing like that. No, no, I don't. I just I do all my own writing. Mm-hmm. Um, Wrote your entourage, but no entourage. I do. Yeah, I do have uh, friends that are comedians that I do. Any people you, you know, want to shout out? If I ever needed to sit down. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, as far as it seems like me and my manager. But as far as, like, from an artist standpoint, like I said, I have close friends that are comedians. Uh, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Kyle Morgan, Mark Hunter, certain guys that are real sharp. And I like to be around real funny comedians. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Iron uh, sharp other guys iron. that are working because, you know, because iron sharp is iron. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Exactly. You know, so, you know, it's, it's, I like to be around other guys who are sharp, too. I don't like to be around guys that are you know, slack or whatever. You know what I mean? That's right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's right. So the events that you have coming up, which there is one um, in, what, Dallas, Texas? 
or is that excuse me the la right. one that's you, coming up you, you're breaking up a little bit uh oh i was asking about right, um upcoming events that you have yeah yeah okay you want me to start naming them off hey, yes what's ahead. the next Shut upcoming up. event you got going on right now the next thing um i just got back from london let me see i got i'm, I'm trying to drive to the just yeah, man, because I, I hear police is all in the. I hear police is all in the background. I'm like, is this man robbing the store while he got the interview going on, or what? What's happening? Nah, man, I'm I'm good. I don't I don't rob liquor stores like that. <laughs> <laughs> Had to ease back on that. Only every once in a while. Only once yeah, in a while. Yeah, man, but nah. The next, the next, the next move, man, is um, June seventh. We're gonna be uh, in Chicago, Illinois, at Clubs Riddle. Oh, no, and, no. Um, and I have a, yeah, I have a small break, and then the 23rd, I'm in Nassau, Bahamas, and the 20, well, no, 22nd, I'm in Nassau, Bahamas. Ooh, traveling to the Bahamas. Oh, wait, Man, you, wait. You get my flying bad. miles. 22nd, I'm in, I'm in Freeport, Bahamas, and 23rd, I'm in Nassau, Bahamas, and the 26th, I'm in Kingston, Jamaica. Hey. Shout oh, out man. to Jamaica. You gonna, you gonna and hit I just Jamaica got too? Oh, that's big. I actually just got back from the Bahamas. When you when you yeah, when, man, when you travel big, when man. you travel like that, do you take the time to take a look around and, and look at the sites or do you pretty much in and out? Oh no, absolutely. You know what I mean? I have um I have friends in the Bahamas, you know. Okay. So I have friends that you know that that I love and love to hang out with. So, you know, you do I take personal time. Start to, yeah, I do absolutely. You, I, I mean, whenever I can, you know. Right. But um, you know, it's like, it's kind of like when I go there, it's kind of like I'm seeing. I, I go to hang out with my cousins, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I just so happen to see you on the show here. This man got I, cousins everywhere. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. a double. That's a double plus. Yeah, man. So it's all right. You know, it's Freeport, then Nassau, then we going to Kingston, Jamaica, and um, the spot in Kingston is uh. Let me lie to you. Hold on. Let me get. You yeah, don't do it to us. Yeah, you know we don't yeah, want that fake news. We don't want that fake news. Nah, I ain't gonna get you know. Ah, that you know fake news. It's with uh the, uh, the Jamaican guy Chris Daly. Oh, nice. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Yeah, man. You he's a. I would uh I would connect y'all to him, but you know I don't know how y'all national uh, plan set up. <laughs> <laughs> Or on my bank account. <laughs> that part, you know trust what I'm me. We <laughs> make it happen. You don't want to push too much. Not too much. No, we we can make that happen. Trust me. But we're gonna keep this connect though. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Most definitely. So when when are you coming back to Florida? Because I know we missed you. You was here in um, Jacksonville. That's right. Yeah, so, I'm actually supposed to be coming back. I don't want to lie to you. Hold on. I think, let me look at my August, my August calendar, because um, they were talking about Jacksonville shoot me. I don't want to cuss on them. That's all right. Take your time. In the midst of that, yeah. It was supposed to be, hello? Yeah, we here. Gotcha. Yeah, it was supposed to be, uh, I think it was uh, like a Wait a minute. It was sometime in August. I can't even uh-huh. remember when it was. Okay. Well, we'll yeah, keep being posted with you, so we'll be, we'll be coming know. back. Yeah, we were supposed to be coming back in like August, I think. Okay. But I got to double check with everything, man, because got they crazy start moving around. Like, yeah, how how stuff will start working out is like this. People will call me for a date, but if you don't get that that deposit to me, mm-hmm. yeah. You boot it out. You go on here. You go ahead with the next plan, right? Yeah, we got to move on to the next thing. Exactly. I know that's right. I know that's you know? right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to block out a date for you, and you ain't got your stuff together. So, um, my next little question: Are you gonna write a joke about us, Squad Boy TV? <laughs> <laughs> I just, just want to be prepared. Well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> write a joke about you. I mean, wait, wait. I, I, I nah, didn't say y'all. just yeah, me. About her. I, I, I don't no. know. I don't know. Her, her name I is. Know, Lil, I don't have enough information. Her name is Miss Jazzy. Wait, hold on. I said just <laughs> She's me. She's about five foot four. I'm five five. Correction. Mm. 
You want that in chain of yeah, man? I want that. She got four eyes. Very lovely eyes. Oh, look. <laughs> not tall, so I can't even go. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't worry. I seen some stuff from Mr. CP and Mr. Dog. She, she, she got she got some high heels. We can make it tall. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, Jazz, Jazz, Jazz might be kind of fine. I no, Jazz is not kind of. Hold uh-oh. on. There's uh-oh. no kind of. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These, these supposed to be funny. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Miss Jazzy is fine. <laughs> not kind of. Well, see, I don't. Well, see, I don't know. I, I made sure. And I covered those faces. I don't want to mess around and say something, and I see you. I'd be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like, what you fine as a mug. <laughs> I, give you, I give y'all a little, I give y'all a little spoiler. <laughs> uh, one of my, one of my next videos is gonna be about Judge Judy. Uh oh. Judge Judy. Oh man. Oh y'all yeah, just man. heard it right here. Ain't going in on the judges, man. Man, I ain't. I'm not gonna be talking bad about it. I saw a picture on the internet. Judge oh, Judy kind of yeah, fine. I did, I did see that. I did see that. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I saw that. My partner, my partner shot me that video. I said, boy, Judge Judy look like she read it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, you, like, you ready to hit Judge Judy I after like the club that. then, huh? Get that booty call I in, mean, huh? I like his ass. Is it Judge Judy or is it Big Booty Judy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know I'm definitely going to be said, looking forward to it. Oh, man. Don't, don't be sleeping on the judge. I'm telling you. Mm. Yeah, oh. man. I mean, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but damn. <laughs> beauty is beauty, huh, man? Hey. You know what I'm saying? Judge Judy, you know, you looking like J-Lo Judy. <laughs> <laughs> man, well, well, maybe Smokey Robinson can take some notes from her. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Cause I don't know mm. what that yeah, was. I mean, you know, and I don't want nobody to think that, you know. What I mean, I'm disrespecting Smokey Robinson. First of all, Smokey, I grew up living in Smokey Robinson. Mm. Right. I was probably conceived to Smokey Robinson, <laughs> but I just don't want to see Smokey Robinson out here doing himself like that. Like yes. I don't know what that was. He was doing. <laughs> Smoke, come on, man. That, that ain't the Smokey Robinson everybody knew, right? Hey, that was that old man still got that it a not, little bit. No, nah, man. <laughs> That made like nah, crisis coming well, late. I see, yeah, I want to see cool Smokey standing still, just saying. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Was, you, know, you look at all the old videos. Smokey was just standing still, singing. Mm. And if you if you ask me, I think Frank Sinatra kind of emulated Smokey oh. to some degree. Mm. But, oh man! But I leave. I leave it alone. Okay. Smokey seen the young boys but, out here. Yeah, I mean, and, and Smokey still can outdo just about anybody that was in the game. Exactly. That's out right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Smokey Robinson is is the greatest. Hats on. But Hats even on. as an icon, I don't want to see you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> now that's never a good look. Period. The Smokey. No, nah, it's not. It's never a good look. So, is there a Mrs. King? Yeah, oh. Hey. Yes, there is. Mrs. Absolutely. King. Shout out, Mrs. King. How you doing, man? Well, I'm not, she's not my, she's not my wife yet, you know, but she definitely is my best old lady and my girlfriend. Yes. See I see how the tone changed. Full changed, blown it? committed relationship. Oh, okay, man. okay, 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 okay. I heard that full blown. You heard that full blown full committed. Blown committed. Full blown. The full blown committed. That part. The Bahamas gonna be. Yeah. Nice. Well, nah. I mean, it's like this, man. You know, I I I played the field. You know what I mean for a little while. And the truth be told is, you know, um, when you find somebody that's good, especially when you're in the game that I'm in, mm-hmm. and you find somebody that's real, that cares about you for real, mm-hmm. and she, we met before. Uh, all this stuff kind of happens, so right. You know, I know that she, she's down with me. You know what I mean? And I know, mm-hmm. you know, I get I get hit in the inbox all the time, and females trying to hit me up and whatever. Yeah. But the truth be told, I really don't worry about it because you keep it gold with you keep you know, it gold with her, right? Yeah, man. You just gotta you gotta know where you know what I mean where the truth is. You know what I mean? It goes back to what I said earlier. I'm leaving the game with. With the same morals and principles and the people that care about me, I'm the same people that I come in. I, I ain't been on taking them out with me. Like, you know, they keep me grounded. She keeps me grounded. I'm good. 
Right, 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 right. So do she travel with yeah. you to some of your shows? When she can, yeah. Okay. Man, you know it. You know it's true when a black man say, "Man, my old lady." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and you get beat up by that. Yeah, hey. man, that's my old lady over there, son. You know, I know what I mean? You. <laughs> I told you I was country. <laughs> Hey, we we had we got we got a, we got a debate going on. I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if you can answer this debate. Thought okay. or side chick? Excuse me for being so loud. Thought or side chick? Is there a difference? Do you think it's a difference between that? You just, between you just, a thought and a side chick. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You got um, you a you got you a thought right there. You know. Yeah, and, and some, I, think, yeah. I think there is. Some people got them a side chick right there. You know what I mean? So what is the difference? You yeah. what is what is what would be your difference? What would be your definition of these of these uh, descriptions? The, I think well, thought is just just a a, a, a thirsty young lady. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that really just doesn't carry herself like a lady. She just you know what I mean, super ratchet, looking for attention, loud. You know what I mean? Okay. Real, okay. So, uh, yeah, she really she's insecure. You know what I mean. So she just I, I the, type the, most. Chick that, the disrespectful know, type. Yeah, out here doing the most. You know what I mean. She's the one speaking back, to him, trying to see who she can speak with. You know what? Yada yada. But mm -hmm. a side chick is somebody who's just somebody who's on the side. You know, like you got your main, one, you got your girl, your old lady, and then you got this one over here on the side. <laughs> she, you know? go, she she might be still be pretty be, decent. She could yeah, she could be a side chick, could, can or cannot necessarily be a thought. True. Even though being a side chick is very much thought behavior. Yeah. Thought yeah. Is. You know what I mean? But she doesn't necessarily have to carry herself like a thought. You may have a side chick that's like, I'm a side chick. I'm cool. I'm going to be over here. I don't need to be, you know what I mean? I don't need to be involved. I don't need to be seen, all that. You know what I mean? Hit me up when you want to get out. Heard, heard from Shula King, man. Y'all heard right, that, man. That's right. His definition on a thought and a side chick. Um, I got another. I got a question. Yeah. Which one you got, a thought or a side he chick? He ain't got nothing. He got a main lady. And he is in a real full. Ah, uh, but I was, I was trying to catch him on that. I was gonna catch him on <laughs> Don't that. Don't worry. I got you. See, I got you. I got you. I got you. You got a full hey. blown. Don't mess up my life on this. <laughs> hey, you gonna come for dog weed too? Dog weed. That's right. That's what you coming for. Cause little Jazzy got you. <laughs> so, what is the weirdest thing you have seen in someone else's home? Oh wow! Uh, hey man, that's why we keep. That's why we keep her around. Yeah. Oh wow! Them man. pants that just stand up by themselves, ain't it, man? <laughs> that is a. That is a. Oh wow! That is an amazing question. <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know. Like I've been in some nasty houses. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've been in some real nasty houses. Yeah. You ain't never walked in one of your homeboys. You, know, you ain't never walked in one of your homeboys' houses and be like, "What the hell is that on the wall, there, boy?" Right, right. It'll be something like that. You know what I mean? Like, like the flow be real sticky or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. Mm. Get out. Mm. Go in there. Go. Always, them the ones who always want to offer you, offer you some food. That's yes, all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they in the sunken place. Kill the roach yeah. on the counter and make Maybe. a sandwich, ain't a man. Ooh. Right. Oh. <laughs> Sula King. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know as far as we Who's up? Sula King, I don't know if they asked you this, man, but I'm going to ask because I walked in on the show late. Where you from, brother? He, yes, he did. I'm from something South Carolina. Something South Carolina. Woo. That's right. Well, you a down south boy. You remember that he said because he walked in late. He was late. Mm. What's your What's your favorite <laughs> yeah, meal? Like, what's, what's one of your favorite meals out of Carolina? My favorite meal. What's one of your favorite meals? Because boy, y'all got a lot of meals up there now. Oh man, one of my favorite meals out of uh, shoot, man. I, it's too easy to say chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy, but my mother makes uh. My, I, I've never tasted anybody cook collard greens as good as my mother. 
Mm. Shout out mama on the collard greens. That's you what I'm talking you're about. You're supposed to say that. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, you're, you're supposed to say that. But see, I'm a, I'm like a, I love, I love uh, all kinds of food. You know what I mean? Right. Um, shoot, man. About and see, both of my parents, my both of my parents are good cooks. You know. Okay. And uh, which I'm still, it's a, it's a wonder why ain't none of us really big like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my my mother is from the south. She's from um, Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Right. Okay. So these Carolina girls, she know what's up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? My favorite food. Ah, I don't even know if I got. I probably if you if you can fry up some some good catfish. You a catfish man? man you know. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's that yeah, down south. Yeah, it is. That's that down south. Uh, down south yeah. Fish and grits. My grandfather used to catch it. Yeah, my grandfather would catch catfish. Well, not just catfish. He'd catch any kind of fish. He'd, That's right. He'd catch a shark and make the taste good. Do you put this, uh, I mean, you put you the know, hot sauce it, and mustard on it? Like, hot sauce? I don't know nothing about mustard. You don't know nothing about that mustard, boy? What, what about chitlins? Ooh. Oh, no, nah, see, I don't mess with no chitlins. <laughs> <laughs> you can have them. <laughs> We thought she was Southern raised, yeah, Southern made, yeah. man. I don't even eat. I don't eat. I don't eat pork like that either. Bro. Okay. Ah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, man. I don't. I don't eat pork like that. But um, you know, as uh, far as you know, they got the chitlins, the hog moles, all that other kind of crazy. I don't eat that stuff, man. They put yeah. that in the greens, though. Yeah, but see, that's different. <laughs> Tell that's what that's what seasoning ain't a man. Yeah, that's that's a whole that's that's, that's a whole other ball game. That okay, okay. You know what I mean? But they don't they don't but they don't put chitlins in the uh, oh no. You know? Yeah, they don't put chitlins in no green. Over six thousand subscribers, over four hundred and Fifty thousand views. My man King Shula, Shula King, man, is in the building, no doubt, man. Maybe. Spending yes, it sir. out yes, with sir. Squad Boy TV, man. Yo, we appreciate the love of you calling, man, and, and just kicking it yes. with us on the phone, man. It was it was super great, man. I I surely appreciate your exactly. time, brother. Especially taking the time out, you know what I'm saying, to to shoot, you know, shot us, talk to us, pretty much. Look at me, I'm getting all. Tied up over mm-hmm. here. But before we leave, man, can you nah, let everybody nah. know about your social sites, man? One more time, man. So if they want to find you, man, they can find you, brother. All right, listen. If you want to catch my videos, if you want to catch my content, if you want to buy merchandise, well, first of all, if you want to buy merchandise, <laughs> all that stuff, go to www.shulaking.com. My YouTube is Comedian Shula King. My Instagram is Shula King. My Facebook is Comedian Shula King. You know, go to Google, do Google Shula King. And, uh, the first thing pops up be the web. Type in Shula King, it's all popped up. You know, but definitely go to the website, subscribe. I'm going to open up a fan club pretty soon. And I want, uh, you know, everybody to join the fan club. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. No so, doubt. You know, uh, yeah, and I, I, I also have a, um, <clears throat> I want to develop a, um, I don't know if I'm going to make it a non-profit yet, okay. but I have this thing where um, I have a drive for, you know, elementary school kids. Nice. I don't know if a lot of people don't know this, but there's a lot of uh, kids are going to school without toiletry items and, you know what I mean? That's Things right. like that. Things they you need for school. Saying? All right. So, yeah, you got it. They don't have these things. Like they don't have decent underwear. They don't. Um, you know, like when you when you're young, you know what I mean. You you'll see like you remember the the, the stinky kid in class. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There was always yeah. a kid who uh who really didn't have their hygiene in check. And you know when you're young, the kids picked at them. But the truth of the matter is, you know that's a serious issue. It you is. Have, it um, is. Mm-hmm. A lot of kids. Yeah, they're. they're they're coming to school, and their parents can't afford to give them deodorant, toothpaste. You know, they don't have toothbrush. A lot of them don't have decent underwear, socks, things like that. Right, so right. So what I do is I'm, I'm going to start a drive to where, you know, we can collect these things. And I, I actually started it in a small way on my own, 
and I've mm-hmm. dropped off clothes and toiletry items to all the elementary schools in in my hometown. But I oh, want to kind of expand it. Mm-hmm. That's and, great, bro. Yeah, and and broaden it out. You know, to uh, you know, I mean, because if it's a problem in my city, I know it's a problem. In everything. That's exactly. right. That's you know right. I mean? That's right. And, it, and you got to start from home. Yeah. You got to start helping from home first before you branch Absolutely. out. That's right. And also, right. you know, you, know you know can, you can I wanna, also I wanna... keep, you know, squabble posting. Huh? We like to, you know, jump in and help on that, too. We can start something here and, you know, and, and send what all we collect to you to help out in any way. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I would have, um, we're going to have like a, probably like an address to be able to send things, you know what I mean? Because okay. honestly, I was having people send stuff to the dinner home, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, but it was working. Like, people were dropping stuff off, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I just, the only thing about it is I don't want it to disrupt the, you know, yeah, the, awesome. the flow of the business, you know what I mean? Because, you know, and, and not, to, not that not, when I say business, I just mean, like, um, families are being served and they're going through something. And I don't want, you know, so much coming in that, we're not allowed to properly serve families. While That's right. We, you know, right. It's like, you know. You want to keep yeah, it organized at least. Yeah, keep it organized. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm going to keep in touch with y'all. When we got things kind of together. Most definitely. Um, I'm going to hit you. Yeah, I'm into with the information. I want to start putting that information out there because it's a lot of kids that, that really need help. You know, and I'm saying elementary school kids. It's uh, it, it's really affecting kids all across the board. Right, that that's right. I'm and trying to start somewhere. You know what I mean? That's yeah. a that's a good thing. That's a real positive thing, man. I take my hats off to you on that one, brother, man. That's that's a great that's Absolutely. a great thing you th- you doing right there, man. Okay. Comedian Shula King, ra ra, Squad Boy TV. Y'all already know what it is, that's man. That's right. That's that's. We close it out. Dogweed, CP, and me, Jazzy, here. Also, we had on the phone with us Mr. Shula King. Once again, we want to thank very much for coming through. Yes, sir. Thank you much. No problem.